Speaker, Alberta Liberals support the decision to sue Big Tobacco, but question how the decision was made. The Tobacco Gate scandal has Albertans questioning the Premier's uncanny ability to apparently say one thing, then deny any involvement whatsoever. And now, she herself is distancing herself from the decision to select international tobacco recovery lawyers as a firm to represent Albertans in a $10 billion lawsuit. Mr. Speaker, I have sent the Premier her memo dated December 14, 2010. To the Premier, will you acknowledge that by signing this memo, you as a Justice, Justice Minister at least may have influenced the decision? The Honourable Deputy Premier. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, th this is rather rich coming from uh, a member who, uh, for about six months ago, was screaming and shouting for an independent uh, commission uh, into a queue jumping, and now he comes out and says we shouldn't be spending money on investigating queue jumping. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, the facts have been laid out. They have been asked. They have been answered, and I have to assure you, Mr. Speaker, if they ask 100 more times, they will receive the same answer 100 more times because there is only one truth. Honourable Leader. Mr. Speaker, given that I asked a question and the Deputy Minister went off on some other rant about something else, allow me to go back to the real Premier. The real Premier. Not the guy who wants to be Premier. <laughs> premier, there's ample documentation with this memo with your signature on it. Can you please rise? And I just want to ask you, if you're really trying to distance yourself from this decision, why didn't you distance yourself from the decision when it counted before you signed the memo? Honourable Premier. Well, Mr. Speaker, as the Deputy Premier has said, this question was asked and answered. It was asked and answered continually last week, but not by the Liberal Party, Mr. Speaker, by the Leader of the Opposition. But I'm sure glad to see the Leader of the Liberal Party is finally caught up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I, I appreciate the comments from the Premier and want to be Deputy Premier. Given that, as Justice Minister, the Premier had the opportunity to recuse herself from a decision involving hundreds of millions of dollars, maybe some billions of dollars, in contingency fees benefiting a partner in the firm that clearly his strong connections to the Premier, so strong she helped him transition her front bench. Premier, didn't you consider that there would be at least the appearance of a conflict of interest? Mr. Speaker, there was nothing for me to recuse myself from because I didn't make the decision.